New tonight, back in the 70s, Tampa International Airport was one of the most modern in the world with its design and features. And ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee taking a trip down memory lane and uncovers how 50 years later, airport officials are turning to the community for memories to celebrate a half century of service. Tampa International Airport as we know it today isn't all that different from 50 years ago when it was newly designed. You'll be able to see the world's most modern airports. We circle in for our approach. We hope you enjoyed your flight with us. Really, I think what, what changed the region and really kind of transformed this area was when we got that new modern airport. Um, and it really put us on the map. 1971, in the first few days of opening, 60,000 people came through to take pictures and ride the horizontal escalators for the first time. We now call them shuttles. Nobody had seen, you know, the, the airport shuttles before. We were the first to ever use that. Nobody had seen this kind of design before. Um, it was uh, really like something from, you know, the Jetsons age. It was really special. The first new generation terminal specifically designed for supersized jets without all that walking. Tampa International Airport. A landside terminal with ticketing, parking, and baggage claim in one central location. And it was the 70s, so cue the orange shag carpet and wood paneling. That's been replaced with a more modern look. The architecture of it was was is pretty much the same. The bones of the airport, if you will, are, were the same. And those iconic birds that once flew over the escalators? We moved those to Airside A, so that's where they live right now. Emily Nips, a spokesperson for the airport, says they have all kinds of beauty shots from back in the day. But, you know, we're, what we're missing is the photos of, you know, people that, were, that came to the airport, the passengers that had these memories. It's why they're asking folks to send in their personal photos to be added to a video they plan on making commemorating the 50th anniversary. You can send them through Tampa International Airport's website. We've posted a link to abcactionnews.com. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.